Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am sharing a recipe how to cultivate your own yeast from flowers and herbs you can harvest from your garden. Here are ingredients. Filtered water, some kind of sweetener, and um, one quart mason jar. Sterilize your mason jar by soaking in boiling water for 10 seconds or more, or by wiping it with vodka. I'm using roses in this video, but you can basically use any edible, freshly picked flowers and herbs. Store-bought ones do not work well. Wash them very lightly with water and drain well and place them in the jar. You will only need to fill half to two-thirds full in the jar. You will need the microorganisms on the surface of the flowers and leaves to cultivate yeast, so do not rub them when you wash. Make sure to use filtered water, not tap water or boiled water. I'm using raw honey here, but it does not have to be raw. You can also use sugar or other sweetener. Amounts are the same. You will need 15 to 20 percent sweetener to water in weight. If you use honey, it takes longer to ferment than refined sugar. I put two and a half cup of water and two tablespoons of honey here. Stir it well. When honey or sugar resolved completely, pour it over the flowers in the mason jar. Make sure to have enough honey water to fully cover the flower. The flowers float on the top and that's okay. Put a lid tight and shake the jar so all flower parts touches the honey water. Let it sit for a few days in dark place. Ideal room temperature is between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It will take about 5 to 7 days till yeast matures. It will start to bubble, so keep an eye on it every day. Now don't forget your label. Write down the date you started. This is day 2. You might see a slight bubble on top. Shake the jar every day once a day. Day 3, the colors of the flowers start to fade and you will see more bubbles after shaking the jar. After shaking the jar, open the lid and let the gas go. You might hear the sound of gas. Day 4, you will start to see big bubbles and most of the flowers are floating on top. About day 4 to 6, when you start to hear the gas sound when you open the lid and when you see small bubbles in the liquid. And big bubbles on the top become smaller. The yeast is ready. Let's see if you can hear the pop. Now you need to filter it and pour it into another sterilized jar. You can use strainer or cheesecloth. Put a lid on and label it and keep it in the refrigerator. It will keep fresh for a month. You can refresh it by adding quarter cup of sugar water or apple juice every month. As long as you have one tablespoon of this starter yeast, you can revive the yeast by adding two cups of sugar water and let it sit for one to two days in room temperature. This is a multi-purpose starter yeast which I use it for my bread starter, brewing my own wines, making bubbly probiotic juice and I even use it as a food preservative I used it for a homemade hot sauce 
hummus and they keep fresh longer than usual. It's very useful yeast. Thank you for watching.